Indigenous youth are taking part in a national challenge to solve their community's drinking water challenges. High school students from the Nunavik region in Quebec traveled to British Columbia to address their water problem, which has included school closures. APTN's Lee Wilson has more. I felt very nervous to talk in front of people. Last week, seven students from Acoustic High School traveled to a British Columbia campus to meet with researchers, entrepreneurs, and First Nation water operators to discuss their community's water challenge. It is part of a pilot project by Rizzo Centre for Mobilizing Innovation that started earlier this year. They are based at the University of British Columbia in Vancouver. The students shared their central water treatment plant delivers water to each house and school. Sometimes there's not enough water, so the school needs to close. We spend two weeks without water. It's too crazy because we don't have some. We cannot wash, we cannot take a shower to to cook. If you are not, you have you have no water to, in your kitchen. You cannot cook. According to Rizzo, in six communities, students K through 12 are taking part in the Indigenous Youth Potable Water Challenge across Canada. Kim Brown, a Simshan water engineer and advisor for the Water Challenge, says more communities wanted to take part but did not have staffing or mentors available in their areas. They'll need to find more ways for youth to get involved without putting a burden on the communities. Uh, I think we have to work on expanding uh, this to get, ensure that everyone who wants to be involved can be involved and we have some barriers to get over with um, helping communities with capacity. Brown says seeing the students' willingness to learn and engage has been inspiring. She added that clean drinking water problems in Indigenous communities are still an issue that needs to be addressed. She says in some places they are getting worse due to droughts, which leads to water shortages. I think a lot of people are aware of the boil water advisories that happen from quality, but the less kind of talked about things are water shortages. What happens when there is no water? What happens when the wells when run dry? Do we drill another well, for example, or do we find another source? Um, and then that introduces even more where, well, now you're going to have to design new treatment. Lee Wilson, APTN National News, Kitimat.